Hi, I'm Lucy. Hi, I'm Anna. And we are co-founders of Machtsprache. Machtsprache is a project to foster politically sensitive translation between English and German. Essentially, Machtsprache is three things. It's a discussion platform, a uh, translation aid in the form of a text checker, and an extension for Google Translate. So Machtsprache does two things essentially. So on the one hand, um, it offers practical guidance um, with the text checker and the translation manifesto and also the extension for Google Translate. But it's also a tool um, to raise awareness for political sensitive terms um, and how to deal with politically sensitive language in English and German. What makes it innovative is also that uh, users can directly uh, participate on machtsprache.de um, and by doing so they can adapt the product to their specific needs and we do so by um, storing translation examples in the cloud and we use machine learning or more specifically um, natural language processing. So Anna and I are also co-founders of a platform for post-colonial literatures, pocolit.com and everything that we publish on pocolit we publish bilingually in English and German and a lot of that translation work is done by us and um, in the work we were doing we kept finding ourselves coming up against the limits of translation tools, digital translation tools that were available to us and we wanted to learn more about that um, and we also realized we weren't the only ones confronting these difficulties and a solution to that was, was missing for us and uh, that's how we, we realized that there was a need uh, for this challenge to be met and so we came up with Machtsprache to do just that. I don't think there are enough tools when it comes to combining deep tech and um, anti-discrimination. And one thing that's very important to us here is that um, technological change and social change have to go hand in hand. And that also means, for example, um, that the teams that are developing these new technologies have to be diverse and also interdisciplinary, which is also true for our team. Lucy and I have a background in literature. <laughs> and um, yeah, these different knowledges that come together in a team can create products um, that are speaking to problems of um, discrimination or anti-discrimination um, much better than um, yeah, when it's a homogeneous team. So Berlin was always the obvious home for Machtsprache um, and it was that because, not only because Berlin is obviously and naturally a tech hub, but also because it is a hub for the cultural sector. And we position Machtsprache at that intersection that, um, that Berlin also sits on between um, initiative and creative thinking and change making in tech and in the cultural sphere. So it was always going to be Berlin. Winning the Deep Tech Award was wonderful for us and extremely unexpected, I would also add. Um, what it means for us is visibility. Uh, we have an excellent product, we're confident of that. Um, what we need though is people to know that we have it and that it's out there and that's what the Deep Tech Award is, is helping us achieve. And then obviously it's also furnishing us with some resources to, to further develop and improve the product that we already have. We have so many plans. Um, so currently we are working on an extension for DeepL. We're also looking into broadening our target group. Um, so far we have been working with translators, with PR people or with people who produce content uh, bilingually, but there are so many more people who would benefit from a product like Machtsprache because yeah, today so many more people have to uh, work bilingually in English and German. Yeah.